hey guys uh, I know it's been actually a month from I meant to do an update on my injury but I literally didn't because of the kind of pain that I was having there was a video that I did on me having a cast on my left ankle uh, I did that video this like I think a day after I had gotten from the hospital from Aga Khan I was there for about three days three or four days and I did an update and I said so the heading was like um, the journey of my injury and I meant to do an update the following week on a Friday to let you guys know that I'm doing good and everything um, but I didn't I think I did after a week after I did that video and I did post up a video of having my I think I showed that part of my cast being removed no I didn't um, I think I did a video I posted it up but I kinda took it down um because of <laughs> obviously my grandmother talking and some, some other stuff but that i didn't want to, that i kind of posted in my video but i had to tear it down so this video today is an update it's kind of like an up an update of my injury and how it happened okay let me just tell you on how it actually happened Okay, for me to have that kind of injury to get me into a cast was that I was actually walking and the night before it had rained for the whole night and so I left in the morning at around 7.15 and I was heading, I was actually in Kangemi and so it was ironic that I should have left a little bit later, uh, but I didn't. I left at 7.15. And as I was walking, getting from Kangemi to Sodom, and so there was a, when I was walking, um, there was a picky picky behind me, and I didn't want to be hit. And so what happened was that I moved. I moved to the sides it was very muddy very slippery and that's how i ended up falling so i fell actually kind of slipped yeah slipped fell whichever how you're going to put it um so i slipped and unexpectedly i broke my ankle with my other leg i figured that out like a few days later i think a week later is when I, i'm realizing oh i didn't hit a rock I actually hit, used my other leg and broke my other, my left leg, which was very unexpected. Sometimes you don't really plan. By the way, accidents falls, you really don't plan for them. You don't even really expect it. For me to actually slip, I didn't even plan that. It was unexpected. It's in the morning. And when i fell so luckily thank god that two samaritans helped me two total strangers that i don't even know never met nothing so both of them actually helped me get up and i actually they got me a picky picky and i bought a picky picky back home um we, so eventually I had to call when I was on the picky picky heading back home uh, I had to call home and I had to let the family know that I actually fell and I think I just broke a leg because I was so confused when I fell I think because of the so much adrenaline the walking and all thank god I didn't feel the pain um, so I got home I was very muddy um, my hands were very muddy my outfit was very muddy so <laughs> family was shocked 
how the hell did you even fall? I said, I didn't plan for it. I just slept. It was muddy. You know, it rained the whole night. Um, so I got home. Uh, luckily on the way, I had notified my family that I fell. So I got to the gate. They got to the gate. My mom was like, eh? what happened? A tea? So I said, I slept. And I'm not actually feeling any pain. I felt nothing. So I got in, I, I, I got in and so my dad is like, he came rushing. He's like, he was shocked. Like, you were just fine. Like, 45 minutes ago, you, you were just fine. You just made breakfast. I was like, I know. It was quick. It happened so quick. And I wasn't really <laughs> expecting nobody was expecting it neither was i expecting so in my head i knew it was a dislocation so i thought it would just be easy to like pull back the bone put the bone back by pulling and then put a cast on and a month later i'll be like out and about nope so i go home like i said i just i got home changed um, so we went to see the doctor but when we got to that hospital the x-ray machine wasn't working so we had to go to a different hospital but none of us had planned with cash for an injury like this so we, we got home we after seeing that doctor from the first hospital we came back home I was still feeling nothing zero we got some cash and then we went to Aga Khan. So uh, we got there, got admitted, did the same surgery, did the surgery the same day, did the surgery at around seven in the night. And I was guided on what to do, on what they were going to do. And I was like, okay, I was still feeling nothing. So they gave me some morphine to kind of control the pain which they did i couldn't video that because obviously my battery was low at that time so i couldn't record on what was going on so yes yeah, so i had surgery they gave me the details once it would happen it lasted about five and a half hours so they put some plates and some screws on both sides because i had broken the bone so bad it was like it was hanging but yeah i survived i'm here um so hi i got the boot i got the boot so i was in a cast for four weeks so i was given the boot after those four weeks which was on the 19th of last month that 19th was actually now i was completing a whole month of being in a cast so i got a boot so I was with it until the 31st and well i'm still having it so i still have not left the house i'm still having it um uh, since I, i've been using it since the 19th um i had to wait for the month of december to end because it was six weeks i wasn't supposed to start walking so i just recently started walking really learning how to walk um i just realized it's very painful um personally i have broken a bone as a child but that was about it it was my arm but i didn't expect it to ever in my life i would have to like break a bone and do surgery and the surgery being the first time for me it's an experience that and being in a cast for a month has really taught me to appreciate life um because accidents can really happen you just don't know when you just don't know how it's going to happen you just don't know even where it's going to happen accidents you really really don't plan it until you have a major injury that's when you realize life is really really important uh i learned that the hard way <laughs> okay I, I did appreciate life but until you go through a major thing in your life 
it really actually teaches you a lot and <laughs> i've learned that to appreciate and i don't even know how people last with crutches and they have like walking on one leg and they lost another i don't know how they survive but kudos for those people who use crutches kudos to you i really appreciate it so yeah that's my story and now the update is i'm actually walking so walking like last week after the six after the six weeks so i'm doing better now since i have a doctor's appointment on monday maybe i'll give an update on what's going on and see what he says because i really want to get off the boot hopefully in a month's time i'll be able to leave the house so yes this is the update of my leg and the update of on how it happened and how i broke my left ankle yeah so if you like this video please subscribe and give a thumbs up if any of you has ever broken a bone and had surgery please just just give a thumbs up and let me know that you've actually gone and also comment and it also helps to encourage me to go through this it's tough i meant to give you guys an update on my injury um so i will and you can, as you can tell, tell that i'm doing a different environment i'm doing it outside i usually do it like in the house i do my videos in the house i don't post that much but i try to post whenever i can but for the next appointment which i'm having on monday i'll give everybody an update so give a thumbs up and subscribe and make a comment on how if you've had a major injury it will be very encouraging thanks